Hey there, I have a question for you. Are you going to wear shorts this spring and summer, or are you going to spend another year and another season hot and miserable in your own skin? I want you to honestly think about the answer to that question, because That is not a way to live, and that is what we're going to be talking about in today's episode. But before we do that, I'd like to introduce myself. Um, For those of you that do not know me yet, my name is Amy Beltran. I am the CEO and founder of Irresistible University. I'm a confidence coach that empowers women to lose the emotional weight so that they can gain the confidence to create an irresistible life at any size. Now, As you are listening to this podcast and you're like, yes, girl, it's resonating with you and it's hitting a nerve and it's just something you can totally relate to, here's what I want you to do. I want you to be sure to snag a free spot on my confidence clarity call. This is where we can walk through what you're going through as it relates to body image and confidence. And together, we will determine if you're a good fit to work with me in my signature program called Irresistible You. All right? So on that note, let's just dive in and talk. So I don't know about you. I don't know about your neck of the woods. But let me tell you where I am in Virginia Beach. The weather is starting to warm up. Spring is definitely here. The birds are chirping. My black truck is now yellow from all the pollen. So we are in like full-blown spring season. And I think you know what that means. It's getting hotter. And it's only going to get hotter from here. Like right now it's nice, but it's about to get hot up in here. So I want to tell you a little story. And the reason I like telling stories is because I have all of these different experiences. I'm not a confidence coach that has a bunch of fancy letters after her name. I didn't go to college to learn how to teach this stuff. I went to college for business communication. I had no idea back then that this was going to become my career. And I say that because the stories that I tell are real. They're my experiences, and I have been through the things that I'm teaching you how to overcome. So let's just take it back. There was, this wasn't like one year, but there were countless times in my past where everybody was all like, yes, spring is here, yay, warm weather, shorts, sandals, uh, sleeveless tops, woohoo!" And I'm all over here like, um, I'm going to go crank up my AC, I'm going to hide inside my house, and I'm going to pray the days away until I can order a pumpkin spice latte and put my black leggings back on. If you can feel that, then keep listening. <laughs> um, and... You know, here we were in the spring season. It's now warm outside. I cannot wear leggings. I cannot wear jeans because I'm going to be sweating to death. And I just can remember that feeling of, holy shit, I have nothing to wear. And this anger and the frustration and just being so pissed off at myself for once again not losing the weight that I promised myself a year ago that I was going to lose. I, you know, here I would be not at my goal weight like I thought I would, or I had actually gained the weight. I had gained more weight back. And I just can remember like that feeling of standing in front of my closet, looking at all of the clothes and literally not having one thing in there that fit or that fit and made me feel good. And it's just the most devastating feeling because you're like, how did I get here once again? And in that mindset, The last thing that I ever wanted to do was put on a pair of shorts and bare my big old legs, my big old thunder thighs, and my cellulite for the world to see. I just wanted to make myself small and shrink and hide, go back to bed, and hibernate until September rolled around again and it became cool. And I don't even know how many years I spent like that. It was utterly miserable. But then... There was this one summer, and this was back in 2015. There was one summer where it all changed. And it changed because I had the aha moment. I had the epiphany when I finally realized that waiting for the wait was nothing but a big old waste of time. And that I had wasted so 
many summers sweating my ass off in jeans and long sleeves. I'm serious. Like I, I, I'm actually going to find this picture because it's ridiculous. I have the pics to prove it (laughs) where I was wearing like a legit full blown sweater with jeans, with boots in July. And I can remember that because it was my birthday. And my birthday is at the end of July. So it is like literally, oh my gosh, I say literally so much. Um, (laughs) It was so hot because it's always hot as hell on my birthday. You know, and I just think like WTF, Amy, like that was not a way to live. And it was utterly miserable. And I knew it at the time. I knew I was miserable. I knew I wasn't happy, but I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to take this body that had gained weight that I didn't love and put it in clothes that were seasonal and appropriate for the season. I didn't know how to do that because all I knew was that I just want to get the weight off and then I'll wear the shorts and then I'll get the cute summer clothes that all the other girls get to wear, right? And... What I want to say to you right now is that if you're like over there, like raising your hand, like, yes, 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 this is me. I don't want this for you. Like my heart actually hurts thinking about how you might be feeling right now, because the reason I can feel it and I feel it so deep is because I get it because I've been in your shoes and I know exactly how it feels. And when I decided to stop chasing the yo-yo diets, looking for the fix in losing all of the weight through a diet, and I started going down the road of my personal development journey, that's where I implemented my Irresistible You framework. And implementing the Irresistible You framework into my life, that meant that I learned to love and accept my body no matter what I weigh or what size I'm wearing or if I'm on a current weight loss journey or if I'm in maintenance mode because that doesn't matter anymore. I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks about me. I don't care what anybody's opinion is of me. I don't care what any person, whether I know them or whether they're a stranger, I don't give a fuck what they think about my body. And that was what I was allowing to dictate my happiness, what someone else might think about me, because I don't have the stereotypical, quote unquote, perfect body. And I was made to feel for years That because of that, I didn't deserve to wear shorts. I didn't deserve to wear the cute sundresses because, oh my God, I have, I have a a fat roll or I have big thighs and oh my God, what's the world going to think of me? Because I've done the work, because I have gone through and created the Irresistible You framework, I don't care what anyone thinks of me. The only thing and the only person I care about When it comes to this, I care how Amy feels. I care how I feel in my own skin. And let me tell you, girl, I'm not about to live another hot, humid season up in here sweating in some jeans. I'm not about that life, and I'm not about to do it again this year. And look, it's April right now. And what was it, just a few days ago, Literally a week ago, oh my hair go with the literally, literally a week ago, (laughs) we were wearing jackets and it was freezing. And then a couple days ago, it was so warm that we all were wearing shorts when we went for our walk. And I, and you know what, this was, this was the moment for me. You know, you guys have been rocking out with me for a while. Like, you know, I'm on my weight loss journey, but I'm doing it the right way this time. I do it from a place of love. I no longer hate myself. I'm doing it because I want to feel better. And this was like a, a another moment for me where I've realized how far I have come because it was hot and I had gone out earlier in the day and I was really warm because I had jeans on with my sandals and I was like, you know what, we're going to go to the boardwalk this afternoon. I'm putting shorts on and girl, I need a tan. And I was like, oh, I don't want to wear, I don't want to show my legs because they're all pale. But I was like, well, that's how they're going to get color, right? <laughs> um, so anyway, I was like, let me put on my shorts. 
And I went over in the office because I have my my summer clothes box on the floor because I haven't put all that stuff up yet in the closet. And here I whipped out my shorts and I was like, yep, put them on. They fit. They, you know, no issues. And out the door I went. And for those of you that get this, you understand how big of a deal that is because there were so many years, so many spring and summer seasons where, number one, I didn't even own shorts. Like before 2015, I don't remember the last time I had worn shorts. I really don't remember. I, I can't, I, I literally, I, I don't remember. Um, and so that number one. And number two, I didn't have that feeling of like, oh my God, I can't believe here I am again. Like, Nothing fits. I'm miserable. And here's the thing is because when I, when I think when I, when I'm having a moment where I feel like I might binge eat or I want to binge eat, I think about, and I visualize and I, and, and I sit there and I go, you know how bad it feels when you put on all the weight, you know how bad it feels physically. And, and I actually think about that moment standing in front of the mirror crying with everything I own on the floor around me and hanging in my closet and none of it fits. And we should do a topic around that another day. But I just realized the other day, like, this is a big moment for me. And it's, again, it proves to me how far I have come and that this irresistible you framework, I don't just blow smoke up your ass. I don't just try to sell you to make money. I do this because it works, because I use this. This is something I do in my everyday life, you guys. And it's not just me. I have clients that have been able to transform and change the way they feel and view their bodies because of this. So I don't just say things just to say it. Um, And that was just a big moment for me. And I'm telling you this because... I want that for you. I don't want you to waste this summer 2019 away. And think about that. When the fall rolls around, around the end of September, how are you going to feel knowing that you prayed the summer away waiting for pumpkin spice lattes and leggings? How are you going to feel? Knowing you told your kids no. Knowing you turned down all the invitations to the theme parks, the pools, the beach, the vacations, the quality time with people you love. All because you don't want anyone to see your bare legs. All because you don't want anyone to see your arms. Because, oh my God, they might jiggle when I say bye to you. How will you feel knowing you wasted another summer? And we don't get that back. The time is gone. And when it's gone, it's gone. And then we're another year older. Our kids are another year older. And we only have so many years with them while they're young. And I don't want you wasting this time. If you have pets like my dear little Chewy Chihuahua, who's my first son, it's even more like they're only on this planet for so long. And it's the worst part of being a pet parent. And are you going to waste those precious summers and time with your pets and, and not taking them out and going on adventures and going for walks because you're afraid of what someone else might think about your legs. I don't want that for you. And I want you to know that all of those feelings are 110% possible to change. It's all possible to change. I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's easy. It takes work. It takes dedication. It takes being committed to wanting this for yourself. But the good thing is... You have me to help you. And I just want you to think about that. I want you to ask yourself again, just like at the beginning of the conversation today. Are you going to wear the shorts this summer? Or are you going to hide out in your house for three to four months until it gets cold again? 
ask yourself that. Now, here's what I want you to do next. Number one, remember I said this at the beginning of the call as well. Number one, if you're just sitting there like, oh my gosh, this is me. I'm totally that girl. Like I've, I have stood in front of the closet, crying my eyes out, hating who I am, hating my body and just wanting summer to go away. I want you to hop on a call with me. It's completely free. What we're going to do is we're going to walk through what you're going through and we're going to figure out, are you a good fit to go through my signature program with me? And are you ready for it? Because that's another big piece. You have to be ready for it. So if you want to chat, if you want to talk, let's hop on a call. The link is in the notes. You just pick the date and the time that's most convenient for your schedule. And we'll go from there. Now, the other thing is um, I want you to go out and get you some shorts, girl. Go get some tank tops. Go get some sleeveless shirts, but go get some shorts. And you're like, oh my God, Amy, I'm losing weight. I don't want to waste the money. Stop. I get it. I don't want you waiting for the weight, whether you're on the weight loss journey or not. Don't worry about the next 5, 10, 20, 50 pounds. I want you to do it now. And if you're worried about spending the money, we're talking one pair of shorts. Because listen, you can buy the shorts and you can Poshmark that shit later and go get you some new ones, right? Go Poshmark it, make some money back and go buy you a new pair in a, in a smaller size. And same thing is like if you have lost a lot of weight and the clothes in your closet are ginormous now, you really need to go do this. Because here's the deal. Simply wearing clothes that fit you now, that make you feel comfortable in your own skin, and that are seasonally appropriate so that you're not sweating to death outside, it's going to help your confidence. You can't feel good and confident about yourself when you don't have clothes that fit you or when you don't have clothes that are appropriate for the weather that you live in. You know, and, and I know, and I get it. Like I, I remember the excuses and there's always that person that has to call you out. Isn't it? You know what I'm talking about? There's always that one person. Aren't you hot? Why are you wearing long sleeves? Oh my God. Aren't you hot? Do you want to take your jacket off? No, bitch. I don't (laughs) like, no, I don't. If I wanted to take my jacket off, I would, but you know what I'm talking about? There's always that one girl. It's, It's never a guy. It's always a girl. Who's like, oh, wow, I mean, you must be so hot. Why are you wearing that? Right? Who cares about them bitches? Like, shut them down. Shut them down. Do you, okay? Like, let's get on a call. Go get you some shorts. And let's rock it out this summer. Like, let's make this summer the irresistible summer. This is irresistible you, irresistible 2019. Let's get it. Like, let's get it. Right? So, all right, girl, I'm going to let you go because, you know, I could keep talking and talking and talking. Um, If this resonates, if you love it and you're, you know, please go show me some love on the, um, on the iTunes. If you have iTunes, I would love you long time. If you could go show me some love because I need other women to find us. I need other women to hear this. And the only way that happens with the podcast is the ratings and the reviews and like you sharing this episode with one of your girlfriends who you know is is going through it right now. Let's share the love because giving that love back to other people, it only makes you feel better, right? So on that note, I love talking with you. I love hanging out with you. Until the next one, stay irresistible.